contract with these furniture manufacturers and say, can you build a sample of these following rooms for us that actually simulates what our, our boardroom, our office space would look like, and on your expense, build a sample of that whole room. And then an, an enterprise would go, I like that one, I don't like that one, I don't like that one. That's like $200,000 worth of cost that that contractor has actually done for a pretty redundant process. We can now build digital twins of these environments and actually enable the architect and everyone involved to play around with it, reconfigure it, all with AV logic on the back end that basically says, well, that microphone moves there, that changes the, 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 the spatial pickup and all the rest of it, so we need to re-engineer from there. Digital twins are going to be a future of how we change and hyper-accelerate the design process. Finally, we're all saying, when is he going to be quiet? Last slide. What's that? A particular kind of fish, maybe? Salmon? Paddock, maybe? Maybe a bit of halibut, maybe the king of fish. Turbot. It's not fish. It is an AI-generated image of fish. Now, why have I talked about AI-generated fish? Anyone know what Avixa stands for? Rochelle from Avixa, can you tell us? No, no, that's fine. I will, I will do it for you. Avixa, the organization that runs the Infocom show, used to be called Infocom, and everyone was like, well, what's the show, what's the organization? And so the, the, it changed its name to Avixa, which is an acronym. It stands for the Audio Visual and Integrated Experience Association. So in AV, we only get to do things like the sphere. Anyone been to the sphere? Okay. The sphere is an experience which is not only bringing technology, it is the space itself, it is the whole environment, and it is content. It's this amazing content that is beautifully integrated with the space and the technology to create that oh-so-wow experience for the sphere. Content is probably the one area that is going to see the most opportunity, but potentially the most amount of disruption in the way that we actually think about AI and what AI can actually do. Every single image in this deck was generated in AI. I didn't go scraping images from the internet. They were all created as original pieces of generative art, call them, or just pictures, out of an AI engine. I just said to it, I want you to create an image of a steam engine from around mid, late, late 17, uh, 18th century um, and just show it in high definition with blah, blah, blah. Boom. Done. Think about what that means in the way that we're actually customizing and delivering customized content to our customers and our employees. One of the biggest issues we have with most big AV installs is horrible content that was wrongly formatted that didn't actually uh, meet the requirement and then stayed on that particular device for three, four, five months without being changed. And you know everyone said the excuse? Why isn't the content changing to actually achieve what it was supposed to achieve? It's too expensive and it takes too long. Now we can build AI supported systems that can auto-generate, customize, and dynamically change content within microseconds for a particular audience and then refresh it and redo it again. It's fundamentally gonna change the way as we AV professionals not only think about the design process, but how we think about what we design and the impact it actually has on our customers. This is all upside for every single one of you in this room. And I'm gonna finish with this final thought. And, and if anyone does have a question, I think they might allow me to answer some questions at the end of my half an hour. But, final thought. For those of you who are intrigued by AI, worried about AI, you've got your family members telling you, oh, you're gonna lose your job. I think we've covered that particular conversation. But this stuff, this AI stuff, does not happen on its own. It happens because of one powerful ingredient. It is the child. It is the child in every single one of you. The unfettered, the uninhibited, curious, infinitely curious, experimental, playful child 
that is going to harness AI and then be part of the next era of the world, the AI era. Ladies and gentlemen, it's down to you. Thank you very much.